Winter can be one of the most challenging driving conditions of the year. And you should adjust your driving habits and you should also consider switching your all-season tires for some dedicated winter tires. We're in Northern Ontario today at a snow-covered track. We're here to test some Salen winter tires against original equipment all-season tires. Both cars are identical. They are equipped the same way, they weigh the same, and the only difference between the cars is that this car has the winter tires, this car has all-season tires. At about seven degrees above zero centigrade, the winter tire starts to outperform the all-season tire. Winter tires are constructed differently. They have different compounding that stays soft and pliable as temperatures drop, all seasons don't. Winter tires have a more aggressive tread depth. They have a more aggressive tread design and the depth of the tread allows the winter tire to grip better in the snow and the extra sipes that are on a winter tire allow it to grip better on ice. Today we're doing the first exercise of the morning and that's braking. These cars are going to accelerate to 60 kilometers an hour and at a certain point they are going to brake as hard as they can, an emergency panic stop and we are going to measure the difference in braking distances. How did you feel you fared when we got to the braking point? We were even, dead even, you got on the brakes, I got on the brakes at the same time. What did uh, you see? I, I can tell you one thing, the only time we were dead even is when we initially hit the brake pedal. Uh, after that point it became uh, quite a bit of a different story uh, as you sailed by about 30% to 40% longer in stopping distance. I actually had to wrestle with it a little bit to keep it in a straight line and again we're doing these tests under controlled circumstances and that's a situation that you do not want to encounter in the real world. Acceleration is an incredibly important attribute for your car because sometimes you need to get out of trouble and you need to get out of trouble in a hurry. feeling to watch you go off in the distance. I certainly on, an all, on the sets of all seasons here, I really struggled to get any grip off the line initially. Uh, how did you fare on the uh, winter tires? Did you have initial grip as soon as you pressed the gas pedal? Did the car take off? Because I just had the traction control kick in. I had no grip right off the line in these yeah, icy really conditions. Really for me it was uh, very confidence inspiring, very linear uh, takeoff, uh, very predictable. Uh, you know I just squeezed on the power and, and I had traction. Here we're going to see the ability or lack of ability between the two tires. These two cars are going to drive around this corner at ever increasing speeds until we find out whether or not the car with winter tires has more traction than the car with all season tires. seasons I really struggled to maintain grip you know you could enter the corner and you could turn the wheel and the car would begin to respond but when it reached a certain breakaway point there really was no recovering the, the car really wanted to snap away from you 
So from today, would you say that a winter tire would be a key component of the safety uh, features for a vehicle in the winter? Well, you pay X amount for a vehicle, right? It's a pretty big investment. There's no doubt about it in my mind that you need a set of winter tires. You need that grip. You need that uh, grip, not only just for snow, but even the city drivers there, you need it in the cooler temperatures. As the temperatures drop, so does the grip. So does your ability to stop and corner and avoid a situation that could be harmful to you and your car.